Okay, does anybody else feel like we blinked in the entire summer flash before our eyes? I don't know where the summer went, but the heat is here to stay. So today we're taking the hair off of our backs and bringing it up to bob length with this beautiful 5x5 wig courtesy of I Like Hair. Let's go ahead and get started with the install. So this is the packaging and I'll show you everything inside at the end of the video. And this is our gorgeous queen here. She's going to be the star of the show. This is a 5x5 closure lace wig. It's kind of set as a glueless quick weave and it's a side part. I'm super excited because I don't know if I've ever done a side part wig where the wig is literally shifted to the side. This is a quick look at the inside construction of the cap. As I mentioned, this is a 5x5 five five closure lace wig. It does come with the adjustable strap inside, which you can remove if it's not your jam. I'm going to go ahead and put her on and you guys can see all of the bounce and body this one has. It's very much important. It's really the key that your wigs have bounce and body to it. This is a look at the hair texture as well as the parting space. I'm absolutely in love i'm also going to show you what she looks like from the back and you guys can see it's a nice blunt cut but it's also tapered enough that it's not going to be too choppy i'm super in love with her and again i'm trying to figure out how i'm going to style her here you guys can see the look and I got a little bit of coffee in me. So let's go ahead and get started with the install process. For starters, I'm going to go ahead and just pull all of the hair back so we can focus on removing the excess lace. Now I'm using an eyebrow razor. You can use whatever scissors or shears you have at the house. But I feel like when that razor hits the lace, it kind of just makes the lace melt like butter. Here's a look at how beautiful the lace matches with my skin complexion. Since we are going to be focusing on the sides and the edges, it's important that you pull your natural edges back. You don't want your kinky edges blending with this beautiful hair hair you want to keep the two separate and this is going to give a more clean install you guys can see this one does fit glueless so we are going to just go ahead and melt her down but you can definitely wear her without any product before we bond her down let's go ahead and stamp out our parting space and make sure we have everything where we need it to be again this is a closure wig but when you put it on it literally has the closure to the side opposed to having it at the center and it's perfectly done so that it doesn't feel weird or offsetting it literally fits your head like a glove Just with an updated way of having the lace to the side i decided i wanted a curved c parting and you guys can see i did all of these steps and really just took my time because sometimes when you bring that curve all the way to the front of the lace it kind of gives a boxy effect and i just kept trying to smooth it out so it can be a perfect rounded look in the back i definitely could go in and kind of curve it a little bit more but again parting is not for the weak somebody some people have it to where they can just do it naturally but a lot of times it just takes patience to really go in and get it as perfect as you wanted i definitely did a great job because again i wanted that curve to flow into the baby hair as well um and i think i did a great job but again you can always go back in and perfect it i'm going to take that black even spray to go in and just melt the lace along the hairline i really want it to fit flat and flush and everything to be smooth and i don't want anything to move i want it to be perfect so i did that and then i added the fan on top now this is just a portable fan on a cool setting it was literally undecent hour so the family was asleep so i didn't want to be rude and you know turn on the blow dryer so the fan did what it needed to do and i'm going to add the melt belt in a minute to help the rest of the way here i am just customizing the hairline by tweezing it out as much as needed to get the look that i desire and then i'm doing the dilemma duo by adding a little bit of heat and wax to really pull the hair back now i'm going in with a pencil flat iron to just curl the hair towards myself and then that's just going to give a more wispy effect with the baby hair if that's what you choose to have we're going to add a little bit of um edge control on the base of the baby hair and then we're going to proceed to swoop it to our liking i'm going to take my time with this and i kind of cut through the clips because this was a process sometimes you will do your baby hair and you'll get it in like two steps and then there are times when it'll be like 20 minutes 30 minutes i've even had times where it's taking me like 40 45 minutes to just to do baby hair so definitely it takes patience it definitely helps to have the right edge control and a little bit of heat and also practice of course now i'm going to go ahead and add the melt belt on top so that can just melt the rest of the way and then i'm going to go ahead and bump the ends on one side i bump the ends really tight on this side i'm going to just do a little bit of a feather bang effect you guys seen this wig came with a feather bang naturally um but i did go in and just touch it up and added a little bit more body and that's something that you can achieve with a flat iron and then with this side you kind of like brush it away and push it forward and it gives again the perfect perfect feather 
at this point i feel like everything should be bonded and melted and ready to go so i did remove the male belt and we're going to go ahead and just tint the lace i'm using a cream foundation along the parting and it's really stepping out that curve that i added and then i'm going to take the complimentary foundation powder along the hairline and this is just going to give the hairline a more um melted effect as well as like an airbrush almost effect and i kind of take it into the hair as well and it just does an amazing job in making sure everything is perfect and then from here just touching up little odds and ends to make sure it looks exactly how i want it a key for this is just to thin out the baby hair if it's too thick and that's just going to help everything to be a lot more radiant you also see that because i added the uh, edge control only to the base you can still mold the baby hair and style it how you like and this is the finished look she's absolutely gorgeous i love the cut i love the body i love the length here i'm going to show you guys what came in my package again i like hair did an amazing job they gave us wig caps they gave us a comb and they gave us this little goodie pack that included your melt belt inside look how cute this is this is perfect for traveling on the go here's the melt belt they included and it does have their name on it they gave us a baby hair brush as well as these two little clips as well as this rhinestone crystal clip with their name on it and that's pretty much it be sure to check out this wig i have a link to it in the description box and i also have all the details on the wig i have here she's absolutely gorgeous she doesn't need any customization she's perfect and ready to go you can definitely wear her glueless if you choose thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one Smooches!